PyCharm is wrapping up the year with a new PyCharm 2018.3 release featuring Windows subsystem for Linux support, multi-line to-dos, unified search everywhere, revamped plugins repository, and the start of GitHub pull request support. Let's take a look at what's new. Using Windows but developing an application for Linux? Windows subsystem for Linux has become very popular and PyCharm Professional now supports it as an interpreter option. First, configure it as a project interpreter, just like Docker, SSH, Vagrant, or our other interpreters. Once configured, your code will run in a Python in WSL, just as if it were local. Same for debugging. Put a breakpoint and stop, but in the WSL environment. PyCharm's Python console attaches to a WSL-based Python interpreter. This also applies for PyCharm's Visual Test Runner. PyCharm and WSL, it just works. One of the most voted for features, supporting multi-line to-dos. It's here now. Multi-line to-dos are supported in PyCharm 2018.3. Make a to-do that spans multiple lines and the syntax highlighting works correctly. Our to-dos tool window shows this as a single to-do. Multi-line to-dos work outside of Python files as well. PyCharm takes the work out of generating Python imports. It also reformats imports to be PEP8 or your local style compliant. PyCharm 2018.3 adds a preference for putting one import per line. For example, you might have a single import spanning multiple lines. Visit the preferences and change to one import per line. When you run optimize imports, the imports are changed to one per line. As a note, this action can be run across your entire project. Other Python improvements, manage copyright statements across the project, better faster f-strings, installable type hint stub files, support for Python 3.7 breakpoints, and configurable Docker compose commands. Search Everywhere, or Shift-Shift, is a popular action for looking across file names, code, and actions. Each of those also have their own specific search. In PyCharm 2018.3, all the search types are unified in a redesigned panel. To see this, press Shift-Shift, and you'll see the tabbed pop-up. You can switch to the Symbols tab for a specific search. If you later do Navigate to Symbol, you'll see the same pop-up, but focused on the Symbol tab. Our IDEs have a great story for third-party plugins. We refreshed our plugin repository and updated the plugins UI. You can now see which plugins you have installed, look for updates, and find new plugins to install in the marketplace. PyCharm 2018.3 has other platform improvements. Indentation choices in status bar, a time tracking tool integrated with tickets and branches, and terminal tabs that persist across restarts. Work on a pull request based project? PyCharm now makes it easier to check out the code proposed in a pull request. Go to the new pull request window and explore existing pull requests, including filtering. Then right click a particular pull request and choose Create New Local Branch to check it out. Other VCS improvements in 2018.3, submodules are checked out and updated, easier navigation in VCS log listings, and deeper exploring in Git blame annotations. Our Angular support got a rewrite, giving better performance and more accurate completions. For example, completion and templates give suggestions with better context for the variable being looped over. Also in this release, Install the Live Edit plugin to see real time updates in HTML and CSS without needing a Chrome plugin, improved auto imports, view and react improvements, and more. PyCharm 2018.3 wraps up the year with several big ticket items and many improvements in Python support and the IDE platform itself. We hope you enjoyed this release, and thanks for watching this What's New video.